So what about a man that what about a man that cross dresses like he puts on women's clothes and uh, heels and that's, his, that's his, he going to the lake of fires. Hey. He going to the lake of fires. He going to the lake of fire. It says effeminate man go to the lake of fire. That's what it says. Okay, so 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 do you feel like we should have those type of people as like our best friends? Um I mean not really, you shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know somebody just cross dressing is dressing up in girls' clothes. Well, let's take a simple example. Obviously, I wouldn't be allowed to walk through one of the Muslim patrolled areas of London because I've managed to squeeze this two hundred and forty pounds of awesomeness into the only garment in my wife's dresser. The only garment in my wife's dresser. The only garment in my wife's dresser, stretchy enough to hold it. Well, I ask you that because uh, Vocab Malone, the leader of the Shield Squad, he has a best friend named David Woods, and he dresses in his wife's underwear and heels and stockings. David Wood is like the rock star of Christian apologists. Like behind the scenes, he's just a wild man, but he's so fun to hang out with. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it's serious. You ain't know about that, bro? I ain't know about that. Yeah, they got a video going around. Look at that when we get off. Right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, he gonna have to tell us. Oh, oh, get up, bro. Yeah, right. you have to cancel, cancel about <laughs> yeah. that. Man. So, uh, he gonna have to tell us. I'm alone here with my good friend David Wood from Act 17 Apologetics. I want to tell you about a dynamic. Hey. He's going to the Lake of Fires. So there you have it. Um, it's crazy. Leron Campbell with the Shield Squad. He's a Shield Squad member. Um, Vocab Malone, it's his plantation. Well, should I say Leron Campbell? He's one of the house Negroes. Or the, yeah, the field Negro, house Negro, just a nigger. One of Vocab Malone's good niggers in Vocab Malone's uh, plantation. All right. And they can't even see it. He, he, he got these guys, he got these guys joined up with him um, to try to go against the Hebrew Israelites. He doesn't care if they believe different doctrines. He doesn't care if they have differences. Let's just have, let's just come together with one consent and that's to try to take down the Hebrew Israelites. And he's pinning these guys against each other and he's got them jeopardizing and compromising their morality and faith because they're so blind to the fact that this devil vocab alone, they're just blind to his agenda. So we're going to start showing more of this hypocrisy. We're going to start showing more of this, 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 the irony and false doctrine and false teachings and how one of the shield squad members believes this, uh, the power, powerful officer, Yatab did a video on Sakari. Y'all got to look that out. It's so, so real, which is, a uh, a shield squad member against, uh, another shield squad member about, uh, mystery Babylon being Israel. And then, Laron said Mystery Babylon was Iraq or a religious system. So they're a confused council. The scriptures say you guys should all speak one thing. Even if the Hebrew Israelites as a whole have different doctrines um, as far as sim sim simplicities, it's not the groups. It's not like the Sakari members all speak different things. Okay, because a church, that particular church should speak the same thing. So they're a confused Christian coon council and vocab alone, this devil's plantation. And we're just going to keep coming harder and harder. Vocab alone, your best friend, David Wood, deserves the lake of fire. And that's according to your own Shield Squad member. So keep them niggers on the tight and loose. Till next time, Shalom.